Hi, it's Nancy. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm using the May Hero Arts card kit to make a couple of graduation cards. This is what the card looks like. And I have to tell you, I really struggled with this kit this month to do something unique that hadn't been done elsewhere. And I needed some graduation cards, so I decided to use the stamps in the kit to um, create this graduation card. So let me walk you through what I've done. So now this card idea is not my original idea. If you search on Pinterest, you can find this card. But um, what I've done is I've, I've created a template here of what you're going to need to make the card. Um, you're going to need a 10 inch by four and a quarter, and I've marked the scoring lines that you're going to need to do. And then for the inside, you're going to need another um, panel, which I've marked. You're going to need a 3x3 three three inch square for the cap and a 3x3 three three inch um, piece of cardboard to make the tassel. So what I'm doing now is I'm using some um, dark blue cardstock to make the base of my card. And I'm drawing some lines on where I'm going to do the... Um, the scoring. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're working on dark cardstock. So then I'm going to take that back to my scoring machine and I'm going to use my T-Rule ruler to get that lined up so I get a nice crisp mark. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Once you have the scoring completed, then you're going to fold the card over and make a nice um, crisp fold and you do that on both sides and then you do a fold there at um, the five and a half inch mark and then fold your card in and that's what makes the the outside of your card and then this particular card I think I cut a little bit crooked I had to come back and straighten it up with some scissors so I've cut my inside panel and I'm using white and of course you could use whatever color you wanted to. And I'm going to use some of the stamps from the Hero Arts kit. I'm going to use the tree and I'm using some light gray ink to put down a couple of the impressions of the tree. And then I'm going to come back with some crisp black ink and add another tree and then also add the girl on the swing. Sorry, I get off the screen here a little bit. I've got to figure out how to set my camera up better because it hits the top part of my desk and not the, the bottom part where I work. So there's the impression of the girl. And now I have um, a couple of sentiments that I'm going to stamp down at the bottom. And you'll see this um, in the card when the, the um, dark blue folds down. So I'm um, stamping down graduation and you did it on the left-hand side of the card. Now, I didn't show you a template for how I'm going to um, insert money into the card, but it's just another three by three inch square, and I'm using a die cut from Lawn, Lawn Fawn that's kind of oval shaped, and I'm just going to um, cut that out at the top and the bottom, and that'll be just right for letting me be able to put um, some money um, in between those folds. I'm also going to stamp with Brave Wings She Flies, which is a sentiment that comes in the Hero Arts card kit, and I thought that was kind of nice um, to go with the graduation sentiments. So now I'm going to get ready to assemble the card, and I'm just going to use some glue to glue down the panels, and you don't want to glue there in the middle because that's where you're going to put your money and then you'll just um, insert that into the top of the card. Now the next thing we need to do is create the tassel and I'm just using some embroidery floss and I've created myself a little template here and it's, I'm going to wrap that floss around I think I wrapped it around 12 times obviously you could wrap it more if you wanted it thicker or less if you wanted it thinner. Then I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to cut the bottoms and um, slide that off. Now, had I thought about it, I would have um, wrapped a piece of the, the twine there under the 
the top part before I cut it off because it's a little bit tricky to get that back under there and that's what you're going to use to have it hang from the cap part of the card. But I ended up just using a, a pencil and was able to wind the floss through the top where I needed it. So now I'm going to secure the tassel onto the top of the card and I'm going to just mark in the middle there and I'm going to um, cut a little hole. And I've got a little gold brad that I'm going to use to hold the tassel down. So once I get a little bit of a hole in there, I can um, make the hole a little bit bigger with the brad and put the tassel inside. Now once I get it inside, I'm going to use a glue um, dot to secure it down. And that'll hold it tightly in place until I get the brad on top of it. And then, of course, you're going to trim off the stray ends. I seem to have lost the video of where I actually attached the cap to the top of the card, but I just used some glue dots to fasten it down. So here's what the completed card looks like. Oh, I guess there we go, putting the glue dots in under the card. And that kind of um, leaves it with some dimension still. So um, I hope that this card idea may have um, brought you some additional inspiration. As I said earlier, this card was hard for me. This card kit was hard for me to use this month, but um, I'm happy with this the way these cards turned out, and I needed these graduation cards. I hope you could go do something creative today and join me again. Thanks. Bye-bye. If you like this video and like to see more, please give me thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.